Today we're going to be going through the super scale feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio and I'm going to show you how to upscale your footage up to four times its original resolution without losing quality. Let's take a look. This video is brought to you by Wondershare. So some of you may remember that not too long ago I put out a video where I shared my super crazy ridiculous upscaling process where I exported my video in 1080p from DaVinci Resolve and then put it in Adobe Media Encoder and upscaled it to 4K and the quality still wasn't that great but it was good enough to get around YouTube's weird compression in 1080. In that video, I mentioned something called Super Scale, which is a feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio that allows you to upscale your footage up to four times its original resolution without losing any quality. And since I put out that video, I actually have upgraded to DaVinci Resolve Studio. So today we're gonna go over that Super Scale feature. It's super easy to use, but make sure you stick around till the end because I've got a little bit of a tip, a little bit of a, a hack, if you will, that's gonna make your life a lot easier. So I've got a couple of clips. Actually, I've got a full sequence here of a woman and her baby at the beach. This is footage that I downloaded from ArtGrid, which is where I get all of my stock footage. If you want to check them out, there is a link in the description. If you sign up for an annual plan, you'll actually get two months free. So you should probably check that out. Now, this footage was all shot in 1080p, but what I want to do is actually make it 4K and it's super easy. All we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of the clips that are in the sequence, which is these, these six right here. We're gonna right click on one of the clips and we're gonna go down to clip attributes. And in clip attributes down at the bottom, you're gonna find super scale sharpness and noise reduction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check super scale we're going to hit this drop down box and you have a choice of two times, three times or four times. And since I'm going from 1080p to 4K, I'm going to hit four times. And then for sharpness, we're going to go ahead. We got low, medium and high. I like keeping it at medium. I think it produces a better result. The sharpness on high is just it's just a little bit. It's a little bit too much. And then we're gonna make sure we check the sharpness box and we're gonna check the noise reduction box and we're gonna keep that at medium as well. And go ahead and hit okay and you're done. Super simple, right? Almost as simple as using, let's say, Wondershare's Uniconverter. That was a good segue, right? That was a, come on, that was a good segue. Wondershare Uniconverter is an easy to use, powerful all-in-one toolbox that allows you to resize and convert your videos, images, and audio files to over a thousand different formats, 30 times faster than other apps. Uniconverter has a ton of other amazing tools that lets you do things like edit and merge your video clips, rip and burn DVDs and CDs, and even download videos from sites like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. They even have a built-in screen recorder that's one of the best on the market. Wondershare Uniconverter is super easy to set up and use, and it's a great tool for creators of all types. Best of all, there's a free version that you can try out, so make sure you click the link in the description of this video and get started with Wondershare Uniconverter today. Huge thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Fun fact, Wondershare is the same company that brought you the very popular and very widely used NLE, Wondershare Filmora. So, you know they're trustworthy. Make sure you click that link and check them out. And with that being said, let's get back to DaVinci Resolve and to that little tip, that little hack that I mentioned earlier in the video. The thing that you really need to understand about Super Scale is it's actually pretty taxing on your computer. It uses a lot of resources. So when you start to play back, it's very, it's very, very slow. It's very sluggish, especially if you're going, you know, four times the original resolution, doing the sharpening and doing the noise reduction. It can really bog down your computer so much so, in fact, that the first couple times I tried to use Super Scale, it actually crashed DaVinci Resolve. It just, it, it couldn't handle it. So what I actually do typically is I will do all of my edits on the 1080p footage in a 1080p timeline and I'll actually export the 1080p video so that way I can bring that completed 1080p video into DaVinci Resolve into a new 4K timeline and use super scale on that one clip. That way, instead of doing super scale on every single clip in your media pool, you're only doing it on that one 
video. And one other quick tip, rendering on a super scaled video does take a little bit. I mean, for a 15 minute video, it usually takes about two hours. So, you know, make sure you don't really have anything pressing that you have to do during the day. Make, make that export, make that render the last thing that you need to do so you can go get a cup of coffee, spend time with the kids, do you know, whatever you people do. Super scale is one of my top five features in DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you wanna learn what the other four are, make sure you check out this video right here. And for more videos on how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.